everyone, Ladim Bongo here. Today I have a quick steak recipe that um, doesn't require many ingredients. Uh, whenever I cook, I always use natural ingredients. And the reason being is that many pre-made ingredients are not really good for your health because they contain many artificial ingredients and um, hormones and so many things that your body don't really need when you go natural especially organic natural it's always the best and um don't think that if you don't use natural ingredients your food won't taste good uh in the contrary when you do use natural ingredients your food tastes so much better your food tastes so much better i guarantee you so try to really avoid using those pre-made ingredients uh they really ruin your um your body instead of rebuilding it so and and many of them actually cause uh many different different types of cancers so and that's the reason why i love uh using natural ingredients and uh, and i think the taste is uh, so much better really i love the way my food tastes when i use natural ingredients so um also before you start cooking make sure you are clean make sure you wash your hands really good um you know those are things that we should know already but we can always remind people so make sure you are clean you um you don't have lots of accessories uh, i remove them really before i start cooking i usually remove my um accessories i'm not gonna waste your time so let me go ahead and show you how i made uh, this very tasteful steak so this is about one pound uh, 1.45 pound of steak and i have onions i have one medium sized onion i have one large garlic i divided into two so i can take the inside of it out the middle part of the garlic i always take it out my mom told me that it was poison when i was young so i do take it out i have uh, celery as you can see not a lot a little bit i have one green onion I have about a finger size of turmeric root, same with ginger root, okay? And I have a bay leaf, not a lot, and uh, salt, okay, about one tablespoon of salt, put it on the steak. All right, and we are going to add about one small glass of water. As you can see, and now you can add all of the ingredients. And I am going to be shredding the ginger root and the turmeric root. And we are going to put everything in a pot or a pan. And I'm going to definitely be chopping my green onions and my celery voila and after shredding my turmeric and my ginger root i'm putting everything in my pan as you can see on the video you put them inside they add so much flavor to the food and then you are going to cover and let cook for about about 15 minutes because we are going to come and check on it after about 12 and then after about 12 minutes come check on it so that you can flip it you can flip the meat to the other side and i always use a fork because it's easier that way you can also from time to time you can poke in your meat to make sure that the inside is also cooking really good all right and then you can cover and let it cook for an additional 10 
minutes and come check on it like i said from time to time by poking it and when you see blood like the red blood coming that means it's not quite ready and i like my steak well done so i want to make sure it's ready so in total this is about after about half an hour the steak is ready and all the water is out as you can see and you keep on flipping it so both side sides can cook really good and add a little bit of red wine as you can see this is not this is optional but it brings out the taste and with the turmeric and everything oh my goodness i'm telling you the taste is amazing just add a little bit of red wine and please don't use cheap wine gotta be very good wine okay brings out so much flavor out of the meat voila our steak is indeed ready and it's so good and juicy and oh i wish you guys can have a taste of it but you can definitely make your own yummy yummy yes Mm, it is well done and super good super flavorful and the gravy that we have on the pan you can use it over rice super yummy you don't even need a lot because it's so flavorful but uh, that all you need is just a little bit of it and it's super super good oh yes oh yes baby yummy mm-hmm so get a taste if you liked my video if you um i do hope you try it i do hope you try some of my recipes i have so many different recipes um on my page on my youtube if you liked my video please um, i'm asking you to also subscribe to my channel uh give it a thumbs up give it a like share it if you liked it and um if you have any questions please do ask and I really hope that uh, you guys try some of my recipes, really. They are very flavorful, they are very tasty, and you are going to enjoy them. If you follow step by step um, how I make them, you are really going to enjoy them, all right? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and may God bless you, especially in this these times of um, crisis with the coronavirus. I hope that you all are safe and um, yeah, really remain blessed. And I'll see you next time when I have a, again, a very tasty recipe for you. All right, take care.